What is up everybody? Welcome to another edition of Worth a Watch with me, Anthony Flores. This is going to be a very major, major clusterfuck of an update. I have Blu-rays, VHS tapes, a couple of Funko Pop figures, and something very special that I found at Goodwill recently. I very much underestimated the awesomeness, awesomeness that is Goodwill. I want to just simply thank... Uh, um, the YouTuber Cinema Cygnus, the guy is a fantastic Blu-ray hunter, collector, etc. I've only recently subscribed to him, and, uh, like, I think a couple months ago or something. And just him hunting down, and I just realized I forgot another title. But anyways, uh, just him hunting down all these particular titles is insane and just finding them at local goodwills I, it inspired me to go and usually I take uh, um, some of my elder family members around sometimes I'm just a care provider and such like that to briefly explain that um, that and I love them I love to take them out and so <laughs> not to make it sound like work or anything but it is fun to go to goodwill with family and everything and just it's a nice store when you go to the good ones because there are some pretty trashy goodwills out there and then there's a really very, very cool overall, just very nice places to go to. Long story short, Goodwills are fucking fun, just so awesome in terms of you never know what you're going to find. And I'll prove that once again. I'm, I know many people like Cinema Cygnus out there have shown us what we can find at a Goodwill. And we just never quite know what we'll run into. So I'll get to those in a second. But first up, the new release of the week that I particularly wanted really badly... <laughs> And that is Mall Rats. This is fantastic. I hate the slipcover. I don't like these best of the decade slipcovers. Why can't they be more on the lines of what the artwork is? This is the same type of slipcover with a lot of these movies like Liar Liar is the only other slipcover I have that looks like this. This shitty green. The Universal 100 Anniversary slipcovers were superb in every way. And these are just so... These feel like an afterthought, but nonetheless, it's a nice slip cover, I guess, but it doesn't have much to do with the movie at all, and that's, I guess, what kind of makes it kind of eh in my book, but it is a very, very, very awesome movie, and loads of special features, and I remember the re-release did have this as well, the original DVD version, but I never saw the extended cut, but I did see the theatrical version already on Blu-ray, and it looks fantastic. Love Kevin Smith and all of his podcasts and films that he's done thus far. With the exception of Red State. Not too fond of that movie, but this was one of his first and earliest films. And I love every minute of it. It's a hilarious, crude, kind of a crude uh, romantic comedy in a way. So uh, th that's pretty good overall. Very much enjoy that film. And again, I doubt Cinema Cygnus or this other particular YouTuber, Crazy Jason... Well, ever see my videos, but just, uh, again, thank you for just the intel. The guy is awesome when it comes to intel. This was $12.99 at FYE this past week, or a week and a half ago at this point, I guess, but fucking fantastic. $12.99 for this awesome flick. Yeah, it's a bit overrated, but I, I very much enjoyed the dialogue and expo exposition throughout this film. Love the slipcover, although Sony did drop the ball when it came to artwork. There's no artwork in the back um, of the actual case anymore to quickly show you all that let me get this. yeah get that out of the way uh, simple plain artwork this is get definitely getting into Warner Brothers territory here and Disney <clears throat> can you get back in there yeah there we go <clears throat> yeah Sony ah shoot Tip the camera almost. Sony just stopped doing that. Go back to this awesomeness. But very much, very happy with that. And also at FYE, I never pick up anything from FYE aside from that awesome deal they had for like really quietly, may I add, $12.99, a steal for that, of course. And Judge Dredd, a $10 catalog Disney title, and it does have special features. I was very shocked. Stallone's Law, The Making of Judge Dredd, I know. This is corny as fuck, but compiled with the Nostalgia Critic review. 
This became one of my favorite 90s movies instantly. I, I loved it at first because it was so corny, but the Nostalgia Critic review just made me love this movie even more. And Just looking at all the funny, stupid things this movie has to offer. And it's got some decent action in it. Stallone's over the top is all is all heck, but well, probably not as bad as the movie over the top. But regardless, I enjoy the film, and it was worth ten bucks in my opinion. Because Disney titles like catalog off-brand Disney titles, I should say, because this is Hollywood Pictures, kind of harder to come by, and I don't see very many, especially at Best Buy. They do away with them so quickly. And some DVD titles that were at um, Barnes and Nobles that I picked up. They current they had up until April twenty first, I believe. So if you, depending if you're watching this, definitely go out there if you want to pick up some children's titles in terms of TV shows, movies, CDs. That's a pretty sweet deal. Forty percent off. That's an awesome deal. I picked up the fourth season of Teen Titans. Really awesome. I heard the fifth season. I remember it too. Very lackluster. This is arguably the best season of the show, and I could, I definitely would argue that. It's really, really superb in its storytelling. So I'm, I'm debating whether to even bother re-watching the fifth season, because it's such a downer from this season on. So, kind of like the Batman series. First two seasons were awesome, in my opinion, and after that, making it more kid-friendly, it just dropped off big time. And finally, Animaniacs. The final volume I needed. Oh my god, I've already watched a whole disc of this already and it's so funny. So, so, so funny. Very fourth wall oriented jokes. And it's a shame it took them so long to release it, but I'm happy they did. Uh, I have no words. This is arguably my favorite animated TV show from my childhood right now. Arguably my favorite show of all time in terms of animated shows. So... Very happy to have those and to have gotten them at a cheap price. $17.99 for the Animaniac set and $11.99 for a Teen, Teen Titan set. So, not too bad at all. <clears throat> and last but definitely, well, some people may say least for one of these titles. I picked up two VHS tapes. Again, with the Goodwill theme here uh, that, that I was explaining earlier. I picked these up for two reasons. One, I love the artwork on these things. These look fantastic right there. I just love the artwork in this. Yes, Noelle really wanted us to know. I'll show you in a second. Noelle really wanted us to know this was her Jackie Brown tape. But I happened to see this as I plucked it out. And I was just like, oh, that's cool. And then I saw the sticker. And I was just like, oh, shit. As you can see right there. She really wanted to let us know that's her tape. But anyways, I love the stickers here. This is not Be Kind Rewind, but it is a nice spin on it anyways. To play is human, to rewind is divine. Good stuff right there. Rest in peace, Blockbuster. And this one really caught my eye. I, I just thought, I love the artwork on this. It's a shame that it's such a shit film in many ways, but I love it. It's one of my favorite guilty pleasures of all time. And then I saw this little number. For those of you who are around areas with Hollywood video, uh, you'll definitely, of course, know what this sticker is. Love this place. I had loved this place so much. I lived there every weekend. My parents would take me. I, I definitely enjoyed it way more than I did Blockbuster at the time. Um, very happy to have this. Oh, yes, and they have that sticker as well, the nice shiny one. So that's what obviously drew me to it once I pl plucked it out of the shelf. So that was awesome. And I just realized I'm clocking in at 9 minutes, but uh, if you want to stick around for a part 2, uh, you're definitely more than welcome to. I really try to keep these 10 minutes or less, so thank you so much for watching part 1 of this update. And if you want to stay tuned for the couple other things I picked up, uh, feel free to do so. It'll be on my channel. So thanks again for watching. Feel free to comment, and uh, we'll see you in the next video, or if not, next time.